Let's fucking fight. Finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Oh, jeez. Thunder and storm, eh? Alright. Works for me. Paula? You are gonna do the biggest thing you can do. And Jeff, spy on them to figure out what they're against. That is the battle strategy for turn one. 460! That did a lot of fucking damage. Jeff spies on Thunder and Storm. Thunder and Storm's offense is 111, defense 178. Vulnerable to Flash. Good to know. I think I had that. Used a crashing boom bang attack. Didn't hit anyone. Franklin Bash deflected the lightning. Alright. Do you have Flash? No, you don't. Yes, you do. Uh, Paula. Hit them with PK Freeze again. Not enough PP? 28. Damn. That's probably why I did so much damage. Alright, you are going to now... Use... Um... Try Slime Generator. Did 404 damage still, so I still did a lot of damage. Then something sticky stuck to the enemy. It did not work on Thunder and Storm. PK Flash B. Thunder and Storm became tame. Really? Wow. Ness and his friends gained a lot of experience. Pooh would have been great for this fight. He would have gained so much experience and probably caught up to us. Damn. But hey, that was so simple. Uh, but like, hey, whoa. Uh, but PK Starstorm's a thing. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the pink cloud. Alright, you know what we gotta do. Use. Let's see if I missed one. I have not. Turning up the volume on my gamepad. I wonder, actually. Do I have headphones sitting around me? I'm gonna check real quick. That's great. I never thought of this. So, I can plug headphones in to the gamepad and hear the music through this. Normally when I do that on uh, other consoles, it cuts the music out from the TV. But, it looks like the TV is still get getting game audio, so that won't mess with anything. So now I can actually hear shit, sorry for bumping the mic. That's good. I like that a lot. So now that I can do that, now that I can hear through my headphones, I am going to go to the soundstone again and listen to it.
I like that. Man. Oh, you gonna front? Alright, that's fine. But like, now that I can hear the audio through my, my headphones, the TV sounds so much louder because I can focus on exactly what, I, what it's playing. That's crazy. Alright. Paula? That. That. Alright. Man, I wish I could do this for all games. That's been my biggest, like, problem with my recording setup, is that I have to play audio through the TV. Um, I would love to be able to, uh, listen to games through headphones while you guys still, while still recording the audio, because there's a lot of stuff you miss when you can't do that. Oh, man! When I get around to doing the, uh, Fatal Frame game, this is gonna be great. Cause I'm gonna be able to plug headphones in and really get immersed into the scares. Oh, I'm, I'm excited now, guys. I'm excited for that. It's not gonna come for a while, because that's a $60 game, and I don't have the money for it. Or space on my Wii U, for that matter. I have... so many games on my Wii U now, because of all these bundles and sales that I've been getting. So, alright, now that we've conquered this place, we, um, should, we should have, um, god damn it, but, hey, cool, I won, that makes me happy, hey, Jeff got to level 51. That's good. But, uh... God damn it. I don't want to fight you guys. This is annoying. Just die. Just die, Thundermite. Fuck. Thank you. Just a waste of my time. Uh, but... I don't think I have any other business in Dalam. I do think I remember hearing something about, like, talking to someone. So... I might go do that. I might talk around to a few people. You know that you do do everything well, right? Do do. Oops. Say, Prince Pooh, are you still popular with the girls? I heard... Prince Pooh's not here. Who the fuck are you talking to? So do they not change the dialogue, I guess, for some of these people? They probably don't expect me to come back here without Prince Pooh. That's fine, though. Let's go talk to the king, see if he has anything to say. And then, if he doesn't, we will head back to Scaraba. Well, here's another one of these. This is gonna be fun. Pictures, take it instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I do fake so myself. Okay, get ready for that. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fa ho ho. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always be the fun of the photo. Bye, Monopoly man. Alright, what do you got? Your future battle will be considerably more dangerous than you expect. Don't be careless. the fuck? What was that? Is that like sleeping, I guess? Maybe? Maybe that counts as a hotel here? Oh well. That's fine. Um... Is there any good place to teleport out of? Let's try here. Teleporting. Um, teleport, oh, it, it worked, just barely, Te teleport B is a fucking godsend, alright, now here's the annoying part, 
Because I'm a fucking idiot. Um. Oh, these fucking things. Um, the annoying part is, I have to go all the way back through the pyramid. Um. So. If you guys remember, when I first got out of the pyramid, I was kind of wandering around and I found, like, this weird golem-looking thing. Um, there's a guy I have to talk to, who I either talked to or saw and ignored, um, for some reason, that gives me the ability to go in there. Uh, because if you remember, it said it was locked. Uh, there's a guy I have to talk to on the other side of the pyramid Who uh Has the key if I'm correct though um This dungeon should already be solved and I should be able to walk right into like the little hole in the ground that was uncovered by the uh, sarcophagus Right, I hope so Man, this song has some pretty funky bass, now that I can actually hear it. Yeah, here we go. I like this, I'm digging this song. The music in this game is just really good, I love it. I may not have been able to hear it, maybe, I used to may not, ugh. words, I say them. Um... I used to not be able to, or <laughs> before I plugged in my headphones, I wasn't able to hear them hear the music that well during recording. But I was able to hear it during editing, so I think I, I can say with like, um, without most of a shadow of a doubt that the music in this game is fucking rad. And I bought uh, Toby Fox, the guy who made Undertale and did like all the music for it and stuff. Uh, one of my favorite fucking composers. This guy. Alright, this fucker. I'm not sure if it was the Dungeon Man, but there is a strange looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. That's what I needed to do. Ness got the key to the tower, so I don't know if I had my inventory full, or if I just didn't talk to him for some reason. But, I needed that. Um... But yeah, the music in this game is really good, but Toby made, um, didn't make, but he worked on, uh, with a few other artists, a, um, Earthbound-inspired soundtrack, and it is so good. Um, and Toby's songs, some of which are, uh, in Undertale, are really fucking good, of course, because Toby Fox is just a god of composition when it comes to music, as far as I'm concerned. I have yet to find a single song by him that I don't just absolutely love. I hate this area so much. Um, but yeah, Homestuck fans! Um, you, if you haven't heard this, uh, Homestuck fans and non-Homestuck fans, it, give a listen to the, uh, soundtrack for, for, like, not soundtrack for Homestuck, but the soundtracks for Homestuck. Give a listen to a couple of the songs. Um, there, Toby Fox has done at least one song on almost every album. Um... There are a couple he hasn't done them on. Uh, that could be either due to the fact that only one artist worked on those albums, or he was busy doing Undertale at the time. Who knows? But there are a couple Homestuck albums he did not do music on. But, like, if you're not a fan of Homestuck, that does not matter. You, If you enjoy the Undertale music, you will probably love this music. It is absolutely fantastic um i recommend this one i know for a fact well maybe not for a f fact but i'm 95 percent sure is toby fox if it's not please feel to feel free to correct me but the blind prophet is an amazing song i absolutely love everything about it so give that one a listen 
highly recommend it. But yeah, just everything I've heard by him that's from Homestuck is legitimately, like, a good, like, chiptunes, like, song that I would listen to even if I wasn't a fan of Homestuck. The entirety of the Undertale soundtrack I listen to on a regular basis. His music on the Earthbound Tribute soundtrack is the best part of that soundtrack. Like... Like, I have not heard a single thing by him that isn't great. Looks like you can enter, but it's locked, so... Yeah, Toby Fox, if you're unfamiliar with him, check out his work. He's... a huge talent. Huge talent. You may enter. We are now inside this thing. This music is strange. Welcome! You are inside of my body. Brick Road. Okay. Oh, not this bullshit. Oh, I hate each and every one of you. All of you can go die in a fucking fire. At least I have fucking Paula this time. To kind of help me get rid of these things quickly. Ugh. Thank you, worthless protoplasm. I'm just gonna try and get rid of these enemies as quick as possible. Because I despise them with a burning passion. So if that that's gonna cause me to, you know, probably use a lot of PP unnecessarily, but... Seriously, fuck those guys. My statistics show about 70% of the people go to the right first. Brick Road. Well, I'm gonna at least listen to this sign. Keep this board in mind. Brick Road. Okay. Oh shit, is this like a fucking place? If you check into this bench, it's just like checking into a hotel. Brick Road. This is like a town? It is a dungeon owner's obligation to hire a doctor and a nurse. Brick Road. Wow! That's so cool. I wasn't expecting this to be like a town. Well, definitely I'm gonna sleep. Good night, bench. May you relax and recover your health and spirits. Ness and his friend's health is restored. Oh my god. This music is really unsettling when that happens. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick Road. Oh, so yeah, no, just... To explain what just happened, the music faded out, and then it played the, like, da 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 It's not, that's not what it is, but that, you know, kind of victory tune. And then, not even faded back in, this super jarring music just, boom, started up. And it really, like, shocked me. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes, Brick Road. Thank you, Brick Road. There's a present. It could be an enemy. But I want it. Place an item at the dead end. You are free to take it whenever you want. Brick Road. Let's open the present. There's a Molo Kia soup inside. What is that? What are you? Molo Kia soup. Molo Kia is a summer vegetable from Scaraba. It's high in nutrients and it has a light flavor of Scarabian's love. If you drink this, you recover about 80 HP. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's good. Useful. Take a drink. Oh, shit. The coaster went with my cup. Oh, man, my throat hurts. If my voice starts sounding hoarse, my apologies. I hit him with the hardest, the hardest hits. Fuck that scalding coffee cup. Just, oh, fuck, fuck these enemies. Why do I have to fight them again? Don't do that. Paul is almost dead. Dead only have four damage to Jeff. Hey, you stop moving. How does your coffee stay afloat like that, you fuck? Ugh. Still not dead? Come on, die. No one loves you, Mystical Record. You're not one of the good ones. You're not one of the good records. No one will ever buy you from the store. 
Like, just give up. This music is so jarring. Who are you talking? You have a long way to go. Getting some rest and relaxation may save you. Okay. Is this bench just gonna be all over this dungeon? Like, is this supposed to be like one of those, like, this is the easiest dungeon ever as a joke type things? Because if so, I'm okay with that. While you explore the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop? Brick Road. I wonder why I'm in the, this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry, did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous, don't worry. Okay. Sure, I guess. This Brick Road guy is very nice. I like him. There is a useful item at the de at the dead end after you make quite a long walk. Brick Road. Okay. There's a couple of life noodles inside. Sweet! That is useful, Brick Road. Thank you very much. God, this music... Like, it's very unnerving. Once a dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. Brick Road. Okay. Items that are easy to get to are usually disappointing. Brick Road. I read that already. Brick Road. Ness opened the present. Ness and his friends got five dollars. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm a fan of this. Give me you. Let's open the present. There's a snake inside, but he has got too much stuff already. That's fine. I have a snake already. Jesus. The presents. The uh, not... The not real presents. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Rick Road. I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left billboard. Rick Road. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I have an exit mouse still. Oh, that would have been good. Um, defense spray, viper, kind of PSI, snake bag, couple of life noodles, shield killer. Where are all my healing items? Did I use them all already? I think I might have. I think I might have. I think I might have. That's fine. I'm gonna use this on Jeff. Jeff drank it. Jeff's HP are maxed out. Oh, it looks like his HP was already at max. That's fine. There's a super plush bear inside. Fuck yes. Worth it. Fucking worth it. Alright, now... Head around. There's, like, talking going on in the background. How the fuck do I get up there? What the fuck? I don't even care. I don't even care. It's just a save point. Fucking present. Hey, it's dead. Oh my gosh. I killed it in one hit. Yes. But Ness and his friends cannot carry any more stuff. No, I don't. I mean, I could throw away a snake. But that's fine. Go die. Okay, I won! Ness and his friends gained 6 XP. Jeez, only 6. You must re be really wimpy. What do you have to say? I built a bulletin board without a message. Rick Road. What the fuck is that shit? That's a yellow submarine. There is a yellow submarine right there. Alright. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Rick Road. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Road. Grass is always greener than fucking I wonder where that is. Grass is always... Alright! I'm gonna go with this one. See where it takes me. Dead end, huh? Good to know. Learn from your mistakes. Follow this and you're bound to be successful in Earthbound. Road. Oh, hey! Boom, boom. Whatever that weird, like, vocalization is in the background. Alright. 
Oh, another another dead end. If you work hard, you don't have time to get burned. Brick road. Was that a burn? Brick road? Is that supposed to be a burn? I guess. I don't know. This one next. Oh, hey, Salvador's clock. I think I picked the right one. This is the second floor of my body. Brick Road. What's a dungeon? That is my eternal question. Brick Road. There's another, like, healing spot. There's a dead end here. Inside the dungeon, flash photography is prohibited. Brick Road. Okay. So then, is... Mr. Photographer Guy gonna cause me fucking issues? Oh no. Not these guys. I feel like I should be afraid of them because of that one boss. But also I feel like I've taken these guys out before well in winter. Which was a while ago. Wow. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Well, Paul is down. Good thing I have, like, revive items. Let's use one of those. Let's use a cup of life noodle. That only has, like, a certain percentage of heal- of reviving, but let's use it first. Paul is revived. Okay, cool. You are standing right around my belly button. Brick Road. Okay. That's cool. Good to know. You're way bigger on the inside. This music is one of my greatest accomplishments. Brick Road. He composed this. Alright. There is an item at the dead end, but I have been known to be wrong occasionally. Sorry. That's funny. I like this dungeon so far. This is a good one. This is a very good one. It smells like flowers here. If you can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. Crud. I'll smell it! I must must be getting a cold. Dungeon exploration is tough, but it is also fun. Thank you, Brick Road. Let's open the present. There is a sudden guts pill inside. Jeff takes it. Good job, Jeff, sir. I'm gonna go over here for a second and avoid those guys and those guys. Alright. Present time. Ness opens the present. There's a pizza inside, but he's got too much stuff. That's fine. I don't need your pizzas. There are lots of monsters up there, but don't stress out. Thanks? PSI caramel inside. I want that. Let's get rid of this snake. Sorry, Brick Road, I just released a snake inside you. You probably don't care, though, with all the living, like, aliens and, like, cups and stuff. This is the third floor of my body. Brick Road. There's a rod ducks. Mad duck! They can be a nice pet if they stay far away. Brick Road. Ah, so those are the lot of enemies. They're, like, trapped in a place where I can't get to. I see. That's funny. It's like a zoo. Gruff goat. Good job. You finally made it. There is a board upstairs that says that. Brick Road. Okay. Thanks for spoiling your dungeon. Good job. You finally made it. <laughs> that face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Brick Road. Okay. Return hole. Jump in with all your courage. Brick Road. What is this one? Goodbye exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go talk to your face then. Your creepy small face. Brick Road. What's up? Welcome! 
Long time no see, Mr. Jeff. We met at Winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Doctor and Donuts finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and then walk out. So this is the dude I met in, as Jeff in Winters? What happened? That's so strange. Hey! No problem here. No, don't lie to me. Let's open the present. There is an IQ capsule inside. That is very important. What can I get rid of? Sudden guts pill? Sudden guts pill. IQ capsules increase things permanently. So, there is an IQ capsule inside. I'm gonna take it. Go down the hole. That was a good dungeon. What do I do now? Oh shit. Paul immediately has fucking sun sickness. This is literally as far as I read ahead to, was that I was supposed to go to those two places. So I have no clue what to do now, so let's have fun, <laughs> I guess. Is uh, Brick Road going to attack for me? Or with me, I should say. Fired a beam at Jeff, oh no. Nice attacks. And it was totally scrapped. What am I supposed to do with Brick Road now? I wonder. What can I use the Hawkeye for? It's gotta have something to do with that, right? What a miracle, now you can see in the dark. Okay. So there's like a dark place I have to go to. Why is this happening? Why is this? Alright. There's a style of solo ball. I'm a photographic genius, buddy. Okay, get ready for an instant more. Look at the camera, really safe. Oh, look at her. Not gonna lie, <laughs> getting sick of that guy. His line, his dialogue is getting annoying. Can you march me across this gap, sir? Do I have to fight you? I wish not, damn it. I wished not to fight you. Why do you make me fight you? You're beautiful! <laughs> beautiful UFO. Oh, that was a new one. 113 damage, god damn it. Beautiful UFO was destroyed. Oh. Inside the present, there was a protein drink. But Ness and his friends cannot carry any more stuff. Yeah. I don't know why I said yes to that. I was thinking no. Let's say no. Yeah. So there is a dog barking in my house, if you guys can hear it, my apologies, I'm dog setting again. Is this... This wasn't here before, was it? Grog, oh no, I am getting caught in the palm trees, mm, I cannot move, well, if I cannot move it is okay. Yes, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here, at my eternal resting place. What? What? Who? A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river even though you know it's a stupid idea? Yeah. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you are swimming, you'll be dragged in. It is a different story if you have a submarine. Oh. A submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. I see. I see. Do I have to walk through all that, like, shit again? It looks like I might have to. Do the signs say the same stuff? Oh no. 
how how do I get to the vehicle collection? How do I get to his vehicle collection? What about you? I wonder why I'm in this rest shit still the same. What is life? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Shit. I don't remember where to go. I've already forgotten my way around this, this shit dungeon. No. Oh man, the enemies are still in here too. That's annoying. Even though this dungeon's like simple to get through, that's still annoying. Fuck. So, how do I... Son of a bitch! I hate these enemies. And I am very tired, so I'm starting to get a bit annoyed and cranky from being tired. More tired than usual. I just want the yellow submarine. Just give me the yellow submarine. I will live in it. We will live in it. All of us will live in it. Die, cup of coffee, die. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm so tired. Vehicle collection's up there. Fuck my god. Those presents. I don't know, guys, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I might just have to save inside Brick Road and call it early because I am so tired. I thought that I did sufficient things to make myself be not tired during this recording session, but it didn't work. And on top of that, the things I did involved me, like, eating sugar. So now I'm pretty sure, like, what little sugar high I was on just crashed hardcore. Because I'm just so tired now. Oh, I got shield B. Fuck it, I'm saving. Oh, God. Dad, I'm inside a giant person's body. He used to be human. Life is weird, isn't it? I love you, Dad. Thanks for the money. Thanks for believing that I can reach a new level. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry this was a weird one. Or, if, if it was, again, I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did, despite how tired I am. You guys are all fantastic. Like always, I've been Tragic Comedian, a very sleepy Tragic Comedian, who's going to slap that dog if it doesn't stop barking. I hope you all have a magnificent day, a fantastic evening, and a good night. And as always, see ya, Space Cowboy.